surfing at the times of the coronavirus has many uncertainties. Allegedly, many people says that um, tomorrow is going to be completely shut down, but I don't really I haven't found a source that confirms that. Meaning, if, it, if surfing is an outdoor solitary activity, it should still be possible. But just in case, today might be the last day, I'm going to try to milk it as much as I can. Beautiful waves on the Lahana side, I hope. So let's see how it goes. That was wave one of session one and it's bumpy as hell there must be some onshore flow kind of between Lanai and here and there's a hell of a bump I might have to leave okay I had session one now I'm looking at another spot there's a really nice set putting in this guy is totally ripping while I document a set at this extremely fecal spot no oh, fecal sounds like fecal I just realized we're gonna listen to a very practical advice in case you're losing your hair about 60% of men are substantially bald by the age of 50 one man in five achieves that condition by 30 little is understood about the process but what is known is that a hormone called dihydrotestosterone tends to go slightly haywire as we age directing hair follicles on the head to shut down and more reserved ones in the nostrils and ears to spring to dismay in life. The one known cure for baldness is castration. Easy! So the first session in Lahaina was a little bumpy as I was saying and the onshore flow stayed on. It still is on. That is due to the strong traits on the other side. I am 100% convinced about that. That's why I say when the trays are strong, it kind of screws up everything. But there's hopes. Uh, Thousand Peaks is blowing 30 miles per hour offshore, so it's not doable. A couple of spots in between were okay, but packed. And uh, went online and checked the wind reading, the webcams. I'm gonna give Narki Hay a try. Let's see how that goes. I like my Corona beard, by the way. Gonna shave when the beach park's gonna be open again. Let's hope it doesn't get all the way down here. Well, Narky, hey, I mean, the window was a little bit all over the place, but now it's kind of classy. And I just blew my first wave. And I'm gonna blame the fact that I haven't ridden my 8.6 steward for a long time. And every time I change a board, I mean, I've been shortboarding mostly, so. I put the foot, I put some pressure, and the board went straight. All right, redemption wave coming anytime soon. Not too shabby. That sure was a fun Lombard session. I'd like to thank my physical therapist, Erika Fabian, 
for fixing me up, giving me the right exercise. And my rib, Erika, doesn't hurt at all today. Wonderful job, thank you very much. There's a link to her business on the right column on my blog. I strongly recommend her. So this morning, I duck dove my board straight into the reef. Nothing I could have done about it. It was pretty far out, but the thing sucked up. And, thank God, high tech is still open. Very limited, knock on the door one at a time. But if you need something essential, like a thing repair kit, there was a guy before, he lost a fin, that's where you can go. That is as of today, because tomorrow, who knows? It's a little bit of too much guessing. I mean, it would be nice if the authorities would say, yes, you can surf, no, you cannot. Or maybe it's better to leave it a little gray. Okay, hot coating. I always suck the hot coating. So it appears that the governor himself said that surfing is legal. And uh, that's really good news. That means tomorrow I'm going to surf again all day, just like I did today, and I did the day before, and I'm going to try to do for the rest of the days of my life. Not sure I'm going to do a video, but you never know. I should just do the coronavirus surfing video collection. I should start. Number one was today. And we'll check the progress on the beard, too. Aloha.